Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ebony. And I'm Erica. And in today's video, we're talking all about relaxers and what really sucks about them. I mean, we have relaxers ourselves. Our hair is relaxed. We've been relaxed for what? 18 years. Yeah, about 18 years telling our age. <laughs> but I mean, it's not all fun and games sometimes. You know, it, there's, you know, not really a price to pay, but there's just some cons that, you know, people don't really talk about. Yeah. It's not all good. It's not all good <laughs> and everything. And I feel like we cover some of it in our channel. A lot of people don't really know what the in and outs of having relaxers like. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's great, but then it's kind of not so great. downside. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the five things that suck about relaxers. So the first one is people's opinions. And you'd be amazed, we covered this before in a video, but you'd be amazed at that. Uh, but you'd be amazed how many people make it their business when you tell them that um, your hair is relaxed, like when you tell them our hair is relaxed. And yeah, at this point it's like trolling because A, they're telling us stuff we already know, yeah. and B, some of it is just ignorance. It's like stuff that, that's not even true, some of the stuff they say that comes mm -hmm. out of their mouth. Like, I don't know if like a lot of natural hair women, I mean, it's okay to have an opinion, but mm -hmm. you know, sometimes just leave us alone when it comes to whatever we do with our hair. Like, I don't see a, a lot of relaxed girls going for natural hair women, yeah. but. Sometimes these natural hair, y'all be hidden below the belt sometimes. Yeah. Like, sometimes you come for our character. It's like, oh, you're trying to be white. Oh, you don't mm -hmm. like yourself. We know what we're getting ourselves into with relaxers. So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I mean, it's okay. But yeah, when you have relaxed hair and you tell people you're relaxed, <clears throat> be prepared to deal with um, other people's opinions about your hair because they're very strong. Yeah. And some of it's not opinions, some of it's just like insults and just little nasty comments. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense. But, but yeah, so that's that. All right, number two is the damaged part of relaxed hair. Okay, now, here's the thing. So, we're not idiots. We know relaxed hair, when you relax your hair, if you put chemicals in your hair to color it or whatever, your hair obviously isn't gonna be at its most optimal state of healthy. So, we know that, especially compared to natural hair and mm -hmm. stuff and everything, we know this. We're not saying that, oh, our hair is top-notch healthy, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing when people say it's damaged. Okay, so relaxers are damaging. I get it, they have damaging properties to them and stuff. But when people say your hair is damaged, like I feel like they aren't giving your hair a chance. Like your hair's not damaged, yet relaxer can be damaging. But I feel like that suffix ending kind of, I don't mm. know, the ing part and then the ed part is just two separate things. Like there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference. Like I feel like when people say your hair is damaged, like that's like the end all be all. They aren't really looking at ways um, methods or treatments or whatever that you can use that are out there to take care of relaxed hair to keep like the damaging effects from making your hair ultimately damaged so mm -hmm. if that makes any sense but yeah I mean our hair isn't damaged relaxers are damaging they can they're, be they're okay. yeah like, we're we know that we preach health <laughs> yeah keeping your hair healthy exactly that's While why relaxed. we keep up with our salon visits and all that stuff and um it's just it's a lot of maintenance or whatever, but not too much, but you really have to take good care of your hair to keep it from being damaged or whatever. Yeah, and plus we usually mess with relaxers about once a year anyway, but honestly, just take good care of your hair just to keep up with your yeah, routines well, and everything. And yeah, exactly. So your hair won't end up damaged because it could easily end up that way with relaxers. We know. Okay, everybody has setbacks with their hair, um, but unfortunately with a relaxer, um, any mishap can be way worse. So um, yeah, like I mentioned number two, we're not done. We know relaxers, yeah. the risks and everything involved with relaxers. So we just want to take like a few like precautions. Um, number one is just try not to always get a relaxer. Like I said, we stretch our relaxers like we mentioned before. Also with the next one, take precaution with who's doing it. That's a really important one. Um, if you're going to get your put your own relaxer in, make sure you know what you're doing. If you're going to go to a salon, make sure the person's official, mm. uh, ask questions, everything. We mentioned all this before. And then number three, just be careful with how long you let it sit on yeah. your hair, the whole process, um, the neutralizing process and everything. And so a lot of people and, mess up. Yeah. Um, some people skip their uh, neutralizer or they just let it sit on for too long because yeah. they think they're going to get their hair straight. Like that's that's one of the biggest mess ups with relaxers. Like mm -hmm. people don't understand. That's why relaxers get a bad name because no one really knows how to do it. So. You gotta, you gotta really be with yeah. someone that's a professional or either you have to really know what you're doing. Yeah, so all in all, just be aware. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, for this one, I only say this with hair products because for real, like, y'all do have more fun with hair products. Like, if you look, go down the aisle of Sally's or Target, you see so many products that cater to natural hair women and I mean, I'm not complaining or anything because I love the progress that natural hair care is making or hair care in general is making. But like, for me, I just it's like I'm in a toy store and I'm gonna try all of them, but 
the way our hair is set up, our hair type. We can't really try a lot of natural hair products and stuff. That's so good as well. We do have natural hair. We do products. have, yeah, we yeah. do have some stuff. That's the thing. We have some, mm -hmm. but we can't use all of them because they're either heavy or they're just very high oil based and stuff. Yeah, some stuff we just can't can't mess with. One thing that's really cool, Amazon has this uh like they have like a textures and hues section and stuff. So they do have like a section for relaxed hair and stuff and everything. So I thought that was really cool. But um it's cool to see a lot of um, brands and companies catching on with hair care in general but I was just looking the other day I was like wow you know what they natural hair women like they they got a lot of good products out and stuff just the way it's presented and stuff and everything so but it's not really a lot of products to say for relaxing yeah hair, exactly right? yeah I mean they do say chemically treated hair maybe that's yeah maybe that's the relaxing but they don't really say that yeah maybe it's like chemically treated or color hair maybe like if you color your hair but yeah that's one thing I wish I could kind of indulge in <laughs> So number five, new growth will help you reevaluating your life. I'm going through this right now, probably because yes, I haven't yeah. had my hair washed in forever. But the two textures thing, I've mentioned this before, two textures is really annoying. Um, we do stretch our hair. This, there's also a downside to stretching. We stretch our relaxers. <laughs> stretch our relaxers, yeah. There's a, that's the downside to stretching is the two textures mm -hmm. and like just combing through it. Leaving conditioner detangler is your friend. <laughs> um, so yeah, just the two textures thing is just super, super annoying. And we don't have quite too, too many issues with stretching, but um, using conditioners and butters really have saved our tail. But yeah, I know some of y'all say that stretching is pretty much impossible because of the new growth. Um, yeah, we know. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll have some videos linked below on how we deal with new growth. We have a couple of them. Like and how we deal. stuff we've done in the past. Yeah, it's kind of stretch our relaxers. Um, yeah, these really, really work for us. And we're able to stretch our relaxers to like once a year. Might go back to twice a year. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, we, it's not easy. But it um, yeah, there's a process to it. And uh, yeah, we'll link the videos down below. Alright guys, so that is all for the five things that suck about relaxers. Don't get us wrong, we love having our hair relaxed. Um, I don't see us switching over to natural in the near future. We get a lot of questions about that too, but um, yeah, I mean, just like anything that you think is good, there are downsides to it as well. And yeah, I hope we enlighten y'all and uh, covering some of the bad things about getting relaxed. Or I don't know, maybe we kind of deterred some people from getting relaxed. Or I don't know, that wasn't the the plan but we just wanted to be kind of open and honest about what we deal with when we have relaxed hair so. we just want to mention that we're not just pro relaxed oh, pro yeah. healthy hair so exactly. if you come to our channel you're going to get health tips for natural and relaxed hair not just for relaxed hair um mm. these tips work for if you're natural or relaxed we love all types of hair and we just like we, like i said we preach healthy hair so. yeah and our hair isn't perfect we'll be going through it too so i mean that's we're going through it now yeah we are going through it now like we need trims we need protein treatments hair shedding and stuff like uh, we're going through a lot with our hair right now, so I mean, stuff happens with hair. So just like recover, bounce back, you know. Um, we just like to be open and honest with you guys about our um, hair journey. So um, hope you guys appreciate it, honestly. So yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Bye.